So uh, honestly, for me, like uh, I suffer from depression, high anxiety. So I can kind of understand the concept of the show, elaborating about coming overseas, not having a family, uh, the cultural shock thing. It, it definitely resonates with me. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to know how to cope and understand different cultures and adjust to where I am. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but watching it yesterday, like I can fully understand how it can be rough for a lot of people. You know, whether you go to the U.S. from Europe or whether Americans come here to play, it, it, it's tough. You know, especially if you are a single person, you don't have family. You know, you, you loathe the the idea of people coming over to visit because it gives you that sense of comfort of having somebody around, even if it's for a short period of time. But uh, fans, people don't understand from the outside that we we players go through a lot of stuff. You know, we we go through things that you might never know about. You know, the guys that may go through divorce or you know issues at home that's happening that they can't control from a distance that weighs on them. Uh, family things, deaths in family, a lot of things that you're missing are things that are happening. It affects us as players and I don't think that gets a lot of light. You know, we're here to play basketball, we're here to make money. Yeah, that's great, but at the same time, we're human beings as well. I think that gets lost in sight that, yes, we perform on the court, yes, we perform well sometimes, we perform bad at times, but at the end of the day, you have to understand as people, we have things that go on that we try to control to perform well. You know, it's not like an everyday, it's happy, the sun is out, everybody's smiling. No, we all have moments where you don't want to be bothered. You might not want to practice. You might want to go home. It's not easy. It's not easy and uh, it's hard to cope sometimes when you're in a situation that you feel alone. And I can sympathize with some people, especially Americans that come over for the first time, and it's different. It's not the same thing you eat in the U.S. You're not driving your own car. You're not waking up in your actual own bed. You're, you're renting an apartment. Everything, everything is different. And sometimes for some, it takes time to adjust maybe a short period. And for others, it might take quite a few months. But, you know, We've been fortunate enough to have groups of people and on different teams, everybody I believe, possibly. It, it might not work for everybody, but possibly we're all fortunate to have some guys on the team or you know, staff that you can kind of rely on to, to help you, you know, through the way. It's definitely not easy. Uh, for me personally, this year it's not easy because I haven't seen my family in six months. You know, it's tough, you know, having two kids, you're trying to you know, communicate through FaceTime, and it's nice, but you're still missing those moments, you know, those moments of joy, the, the many things of seeing the adolescents grow up. Um, as far as, like, uh, I touch on what Sar said, you know, for a first-year player coming into a big club, it might be a little different, you know, depending on the person, it, it, because sometimes what you're asked to do might be a little different than what you're used to, or trying to navigate your way around the city, the language barrier, the trying to figure out different things that'll make you feel comfortable is, is definitely not easy. It does make you homesick and feel like, ah, I just don't want to be here. And it, it takes time to adjust. Some people have patience with it, some don't. But the, the film definitely touched on just, you know, people in general, whether you're American, whether you're European, you are missing different aspects that you're accustomed to. It does get lonely. Um, it definitely is uh, an eye-opener when you don't have things that you're used to. You know, when we're at home, we're used to going different places that we know and the communication level. I'm not going to lie, once I get on an airplane and I hear the, the, the flight attendant say, you know, welcome to Los Angeles, the local time is whatever, and you hear people speak English and somebody's talking to you, you get excited because you're like, oh yeah, like I'm really speaking. And it's not because you don't have Americans on your team, but it's because you're back in your element, you feel comfortable, that your your energy changes. And that the realm of it is life overseas is not, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest. It, it's To me, it's what you make it, but people definitely have gone through issues of mental health where it, it has affected who they are. And it's not, a, it's not been moonlighted enough to say that mental health is a big issue. We're talking about it now, but this has probably been going on for years. It's a big issue for 
a lot of people, whether it's, you know, being homesick, whether it's being depressed, whether it's anything, it, it builds up on you and it, it can go left really quick if, you know, people aren't, don't have the, the outlets to kind of discuss or get the help, you know, and it's great to see some of these coaches talk about being able to try to help players cope and, you know, move along in the year because it is tough. And, you know, for guys like me that's been doing this for now 12 years, you know, it, it, I should be one of those people that, you know, we get somebody new, try to help them along the way because at one point I was that person, you know, and, and I know that feeling when you just, you want to be home. Sometimes I, I'm not allowed to think about being done because it's, I just want to be home. But I love playing basketball and I love being overseas and it's what I do. So it's like, you, you have to make the best of it. You have to understand I guess understand what it is you're willing to go through in order to achieve whatever it is. If you can settle for doing this and really, you know, being strong mentally, go for it. But if, if you can't have a, a mental toughness of being away, uh, uh, Europe might not be the place for a lasting career. If you can go through this, it, it, it'll make you stronger. But to be really honest, it's not for everybody. I mean, it, it's it seems, you know, the, the outside looking in, it seems like everything is the glitz, the glamour of you making money and, you know, you're living in foreign cities. Yeah, it sounds great, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you as a person are completely happy or you, you're feeling good about everything. You know, you still have family, you still have, we have Thanksgiving, you have holidays, and, you know, you see everybody at the house gathering, but you're not there. Like, those things weigh on you after a while, and it's, it's like you, you maybe put on a facade and pretend like you're okay, but for sure, deep down, you're like hurt that you're not around to be a part of things because it's what you're used to. If you're having issues, you know, try to, you know, talk to somebody about it. I think we tend to live in a world that's part judgmental and a lot of people don't fully, again, understand mental health issues. They think it's, uh, an excuse or it's a, a way to, you know, kind of cover up different things, but it's not. People really go through these issues and it should be a way where anybody that's having issues or anything should be able to go to a coach or if they feel comfortable with a teammate, you know, speak to them, you know, maybe somebody can help them out, but it's better to put it out there as opposed to keeping it bottled in because I feel like the more you bottle it in, the more it's like a snowball effect. You know, it starts affecting your play, it starts affecting your mentality, your thought process, the negative thoughts, the different things that comes into play, it all builds up. And now you're just, you're, you're not here. Like it's just a spiraling effect. And the team's wondering what's going on. You're kind of distancing yourself, like because you feel like you don't have an outlet. So for sure, if people are really going through it, definitely you have to find a way to lean on somebody or, a, a way to manage you, you know your mental health because it, it can it can it can break you